Okay, we're going to walk you through how to create a employee for Plus on PayThePoolMan.com. So uh, if this is your first employee, it's going to be the same process. Uh, all you need to do is you're going to go to your employee center at the top bar. Okay, and I already have one employee in here, but we're going to go ahead and add a second employee. That way you can see the process. All you're going to do is click Add New Employee. And then we're going to go ahead and put in a name. And let's just make one up. We'll say Jack Johnson. And our date of birth. Let's go ahead and just say it's a younger fellow. And we'll say February 1st, 1995. And street address. And we'll just make one up. One, two, three, any street. And we'll just say Hemet. And this is all fake, but it'll be the same process for you. So mobile telephone number, uh, definitely want to have that in there. And let's say 966-1234-5689. All right. And let's go ahead and add in a land number. And we could do 555, and we'll do 1234567. All right. And let's go ahead and do a email address and we'll say Jack Johnson at gmail.com. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and uh, use a, uh, a test the email here. So let's just do admin at paythepoolman.com and mail and time zone for tracking. All right, so we're going to go ahead and save that employee. And we can see that he has been added and that he is active. Okay, so from this point on, what's going to happen is, is that your employee is going to go ahead and get a email with his login credentials. And <clears throat> let's go ahead and pull that up. So here we have, let me drag it into the screen here. Uh, the email that your employee will get, it's real basic, but it has the uh, password and his login email. And uh, <clears throat> essentially what you're going to want to do is have your employee go in and just change their password to whatever password that they would like to have. Because you don't want them to have uh, you know, <clears throat> a difficult time remembering that. And that's it. That's as easy as it is right there to uh, get in there. We'll just show you real quick. <clears throat> so... For your employee, let's get this out of the screen. All right, you can see that it went ahead and went to the login page. What they're gonna do is go ahead and say that they forgot their password. And this is just so that they have a email or a uh, password that they're gonna remember. Uh, they're not gonna probably remember the password we assigned them, it's random. They'll just put in their email address and it'll send them a new password link, okay? So you're gonna wanna make sure they do that and they're off and running. And if you're on your phone, you can navigate to this page and you can send out emails, you can make a phone call, you can text message, and then you can also edit the details of your customer. Okay, and that's it. And if you do uh, need to get rid of your employee and you wanna deactivate them, all you're gonna do is we'll go over <clears throat> to our employee permissions here. And let's go to Jack Johnson. And we can see that he has access and let's go ahead and just shut that off. Okay, and now if we go back to our employee center, we now have an inactive customer and we're no longer being charged uh, you know, per month for that employee. So uh, you definitely wanna do that. Uh, you know, That way you're not being charged for something you're not using. All right, well have a great day and thank you for using paythepoolman.com and plus.